even know who you are. Man's Mario says something. He said, if God opens your eyes to see you, will be afraid of you. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everybody. He shake up poco toda. He rub up 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 up. He reggae don't don't rub up. He that is praying with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. Once you have come into Christ, you have put on Christ. about big people. The Gentiles will come to oh, that light oh, and kings will come to that light. Oh, dispensations of the Holy Ghost and I, I love to study revival, I love to study the move of God and I was studying about a great man of God, I'm going to use his story a lot in this course, John G. Lake he was a healing apostle and in fact he was a great healing apostle to, to the nations especially to South Africa but even though he lived in Spokane, USA, he came to South Africa he did a work for five years that till date South Africa cannot cannot come out, cannot recover from that powerful encounter with one man together. Do they really know Christ? So, and I got an answer today. I was like, guy, John G. Lake did crazy things for the power, with the power of God. Oh, you need to hear miracles. You need to see miracles. Have you heard of the bubonic plague? It was more deadly. It was deadlier than Ebola. Even deadlier than um, see, yes, it, it was deadlier than that. And it hit South Africa at the time John G. Lake was there. And it was something that was coming out of people's mouth like spit soul and then they would die. And then John G. Lake, and if you touch the person you might contact, John G. Lake said, put it in my hand. There is a boldness that a man or a woman will have, right, that will make you say, put it in my hand. And according to the story, the history is that they put it in his hand and he died in his hand. So you see, germs, diseases are dying in a man's hand. They made a whole city healthy. Nobody needed doctors. In fact, he was practicing medicine without license. Like, they gave him a hospital. You don't understand. They gave him a hospital. People were coming to his hospital. And the drug he uses, the medication he uses, it's called divine healing. Imagine that level of greatness that a man can possess with power with God. You know, the angel, the angel of the Lord's presence told Jacob something. He said, you have power with God and with men and you have prevailed. And that's what God is saying to somebody tonight. You have power with God, you have power with men, and you have prevailed. But I was reading through and I noticed an anomaly. In their story, something was wrong or something was not right. Here's the thing that was not right. Is that these men do these powerful things and they go back home and they don't have food to eat. Yes. Yes. It's like they, they, eat, they do the power of things and then you, somebody finally decides to maybe pity them and give them a few things, a food stuff or something that's happy. Because probably they don't take offerings, they don't take all of that. Why? Because they came into power through a move called the Holy Ghost Movement, the Holiness Movement. That makes you believe that poverty is holiness. Follow me because I'm, it's you I want to talk about. That makes you believe that being poor is part of being holy. So somebody has this great power, this great power of the Holy Ghost, walk mighty miracles, lift people out of darkness, but at the same time cannot find food to eat. Do you know what happened? Is that there is something called the dynamic power of the Spirit of God. Dynamic means it goes into different aspects. The Holy Ghost does many things. It doesn't do just one thing. But over years and over decades, great men have come and they have picked one aspect of God and pitched their tents there. 
Do you understand? And they pitch their tent there, and they think this is all God is doing. Every generation feels they are the only one God is using. Listen. So they pitch their tents in power. Healing, oh my God. You need to hear John G. Lake. Let me tell you, let me give you one of his healing miracles so you don't think it's a joke. A guy had an eruption, um, like an explosion, entered into his eyes and ruptured his eyes. Like ruptured, like, like firehouse, an explosion entered the eyes, scattered the eye bulbs. Ruptured. They rushed him to the hospital. The hospital said, let's just scrape everything out. If not, you will die immediately. And then he said, but I heard that there's a guy around, John G. Lake, Mr. Lake, take me to him. Ladies and gentlemen, they brought this guy with ruptured, scattered pieces of eyes. And John G. Lake, they were praying for this guy. And people saw, eyewitnesses saw these eyes come together and form back. This is the guy I'm telling you about. That you will see creative miracles, your mind will blow. Then you go back home and you don't have food to eat. Listen, the name of God you call him is the side of God you will see. If you call God Rafa, you will have healing, but you just might not have money in your pocket. If you call God Jireh, you might have money, but you might still be oppressed. But there is a name that has been given to us that we don't need to have Jireh, Rafa. He said that at the name Jesus, every knee, there is an all-encompassing power in the name of Jesus. But listen, I'm going somewhere. But when you collect the name, you have to sit down and dissect what is in the name. You don't just face one part and think this is all God is doing. So I was meditating and then the Holy Spirit reminded me and said, but a new wave of men came on the scene. And let me tell you, when, when Dr. Lake and the Maria Woodward entered they were on the scene, we had a lot of miracles and power. So this, those people, they had a persecution. Here's the persecution. Newspapers will carry their name and say, this guy is practicing medicine without license. Persecution was everywhere. Who gave it the right to do what you're doing? That was their persecution. Until a new wave of people came on the scene. This set of people came and they preceded us. They're the ones we call fathers now. Men like Bishop David Oyedepo. Men like Kenneth Hagin first. Kenneth Copeland, Jerry Savell, that just went to be with the Lord. Jesse Duplantis. Ben Winston. Pastor Chris Oyakilome. These men came on the scene and said, the Holy Ghost can heal you, but he can also put money in your pocket. Then they taught us another thing and said, beyond money, he can make your name great. So we will hear of great works from this man. That you will sit down and look at Winner's Chapel and see 50,000, 50, what? See that capacity and just know that's not all. You see nation building, you hear that they bought another jet, they bought another jet. Then foolish people in church start persecuting who gave a pastor the right to have a jet. Is that you have not sat down and studied the move of God. Listen, then men like Pastor Chris or Yakilome came up and they gave us a picture that, oh my God, women can hold this microphone and release the power of God. It was from there we started seeing women preachers, female pastors coming up, doing powerful things with great excellence. Those days you can come to church and do it like a hot. We can put raffia mat and say it's just two or three are gathered. And a, a certain group of men came and said, no, our king deserves excellence. Let's imitate heaven. How beautiful is the temple in heaven? Let's create another one on earth. That this Holy Ghost power that we have received, beyond speaking in tongues and laying hands on the sick, it can give us what is called greatness. These are some of the colors of dynamis. It can give us something called greatness. There's another thing called influence. That the Holy Ghost comes upon a man. His voice becomes law in the city. But let me teach you something about the move of God. Is that after one move and the other move, we do not drop another move for the new move. Are you sure you are with me tonight? Are you following me at all? We don't drop one move of God to pick another move of God. So we carry holiness. Then we move about and we pick the healing wave. Then we move about and we join the faith into it. We come along and we collect prosperity. Then we take fame and increase and influence. And then we move into where we are now. We have come into a season where there is going to be an outburst of creativity. That people are going to be copying shadows of heaven. 
I see people here, sit there, and today there will be spontaneous outbursts of the Spirit. You will sit down one minute you're here, the next minute you are in a stroll on one of the streets in heaven. There are people that God will show you the names of the streets in heaven. There are, there's going to be an outburst of revelation. But we are not living holiness, healing, power, faith. We are carrying everything alone. He said, I will give you the latter rain and the former rain. So you don't have any business fasting and being broke. The Holy Ghost that gives you healing should put money in your pocket. The colors of dynamis is that dynamis is all encompassing. It is the dynamic power of God reaching out from a man producing diverse results. Anything you want the power of God to be, it will be. It's the dynamic power of, him, of, of the Holy Ghost. Coming out from a man, bringing out diverse results. Diverse results. And my prayer for you tonight is hunger. Ah, you must be hungry for more. Don't sleep, boy. I'm seeing somebody nodding her head. As young as you are. Open your eyes and listen. It's dynamic power. It's creative energy. There's something inside of you. It's like electricity. Talk you. If you put your hand inside wire, let get wire, wouldn't it shock you? What about you that has touched Holy Ghost? You have touched power. That's why last week I told you something about ignorance. It will never be to your advantage. Not just ignorance of the devil, ignorance of who you are in Christ. Oh, let it not be that we go to meet Jesus in heaven and find out the possibilities. Do you know that Christians will cry? in heaven because you will not have another chance to come back because when you come to heaven and they show you your possibilities the amount of things you would have done with the great power that will be given to you you would wish you have another chance to go back and release you have only one shot at life carry the Holy Ghost power into life and I'm not playing let time be compressed I believe strongly that one of the reasons why God is giving us time compression this year is because the coming of the Lord is near that is the reason it's not to scare you. The coming of the Lord is near. Everything must happen quick. So you must have 10 years in one month. That means you don't have any business with the spirit of delay. The devil has, he has, he's a wicked enemy. He can, he, can, he can decide to just delay you. Because he knows delaying you is delaying the plan of God. Delaying you is delaying the work of God. So he can hold you down where you are. Hence this topic is so important. Somebody shout dynamis. Shout power. Shout Holy Ghost power. Say Holy, Holy Ghost impetus. See, I've got the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm anointed. I have it. I'm not looking for it. I have it. Say, I have it inside. I'm full of the spirit and power. I burst forth with dynamis. This is somebody's word. You're not weak. Oh, that's somebody's word of prophecy. You're not weak. You might feel weak, but you're not weak. The fact is that you feel weak. The truth is that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. That means there is renewal of energy inside. There's something inside of you that makes you stronger every day. This is the end time church. The triumphant church. We will welcome Jesus. We must welcome him well. Your daddy is coming back. You must arrange the house. Clean up. We're not doing half hazard. Listen, I told you that story to tell you that. If power, carry it. If there is anointing, carry it. I'm seeing some students, you're looking at me like, what is she saying? I'm talking to you. Life is beyond getting a first class. Oh, you should have a first class. It's very important. It's beautiful. We are first class people here. That's what we are. And it's not by faith. It's who we are. Half of the people here, they get first class. But we know that it is beyond that. We have credentials from above. There's, there's something else we are using. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. I know somebody's heart is going to be open to say, Lord, I want to be the John G. Lake. But beyond being another John G. Lake, is you came with your own anointing. Carry their own out of your own. It's time for expressions. Today, the spirit of fear will leave you alone. That thing that will not let you jump out and express God is running out of you. It's time for big things. All of you that think you've seen something, you've not seen anything, come out with new hunger. Lord, we want to see. We want to see glory. Kaya Baha Shida Baha. Wisdom much more than Daniel experienced. These are the colors of dynamis. And Daniel was sleeping, an angel came and taught him. Somebody told me, MCK, every time I sleep at night, in the night in my dream, you appear and teach me business. Oh, guess what? I'm sleeping in my house. 
but the angels of this anointing they go forth we are coming into dynamic moves of the spirit and you are one of the people God is using that's why we come here every Friday we're making an army let me teach you something number one was ignorance number two lack of covenant lack of the consciousness of a covenant not even lack of covenant lack of the consciousness of a covenant the three things you can't afford in the school number one is ignorance number two lack of the consciousness of a covenant because life answers to covenant boldness is not bold face no boldness is not bold face there's something inside of you that makes you talk to demons you must understand it was the covenant that brought you there we are not in a covenant with God. We are beneficiaries of the covenant the Father made with the Son. Listen, we cannot get into covenant with God. We can't. We don't have what it takes. In the Old Testament, they decided to enter covenant with God. But they could not meet up. So snakes started biting them in the wilderness. They started dying. Because you don't have what it takes to meet up with a covenant. So what did the Father do? He brought his Son. They came into a covenant agreement. And you became the beneficiary. So there is no I do, you do. Now let's explain what the covenant is. Are you sure you are here tonight? You'll be greatly blessed. What's the covenant? It's an agreement between two or more parties. Consisting responsibilities and privileges. Please write. An agreement between two or more parties. Consisting responsibilities and privileges. An agreement between two or more parties. Consisting responsibilities and privileges. That means in a covenant, two people come together to make an agreement, but we have responsibilities. The two of us have a responsibility, and the two of us have privileges that we get from that covenant. Another definition that I really love is that a covenant is an oath bond relationship. Oath. Oath bond relationship between two or more parties. An oath bond relationship is a covenant. You know what an oath? An oath. You know what an oath is? So you know. Nollywood movies, they showed us people who took covenants. They say, I'm going to marry, I'm going abroad. And Kechi, I'm going to marry you, right? When I come back, I'm coming back for you. I will marry you. If I don't marry you, let me die. A covenant goes beyond a normal agreement. One of the things that binds a covenant is blood. Is death. And the only thing that can break a covenant is death. I'm saying this for a reason. The reason why the covenant that God has brought us into cannot fail is because God cannot die. So because God cannot die, we are sure and we are certain that this thing works. And let me explain something to you. We came into that by the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. Everything Jesus did on the cross was what brought us into power. I'm explaining something and you need to understand and I will not take so much time. It's a three note, three page thing about covenant but I'll use just five minutes to say it. The death, the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ was when the covenant happened and God brought us into that even though we were not active participants of it. Even though we didn't do anything. The Bible now says something. It said we died in Christ. We were in Christ when he died. We were in Christ when he raised up again. The way they brought you into it is just Ojoro. You did not do anything to deserve it, but they brought you into it. Listen, you have tasted of death. That's why you can't die again. Reverend Williams was teaching Sunday in the school of prayer. He said, God don't die. The reason behind that, the reason why you cannot die is because you have died. I, see, I, I think I remember of a great man of God, the same thing. They were about to shoot him. See, you need to understand this thing. Some of you, eh, these words you are hearing, is the difference between life and death. When you come to a meeting, pay attention. Pay attention. They were about to shoot this man of God. And the only revelation that came out of his belly in two minutes was dead men don't die. Where did he get the revelation from? We died in Christ. That because I have died, I can't die again. This covenant, but you were not there when he died. We were not even born. It was some 2,000 plus years later before you came on the scene. But the Bible said the Lamb of God was slain before the foundations of the world. Is God not so good that he thought about you before you were even born and fixed you inside a covenant? Now, if that boy travels abroad, that boy that has entered a covenant with a, a lady, let's just say the name of the lady is um, Mbechi. So he has entered a covenant with Mbechi and he says, Mbechi, I'll marry you. 
take your blood, take their blood. How they do it is their business. And please, don't you ever. The life of the flesh is in the blood. The moment you do that thing, ilala, but the blood of Jesus, in case you have done it, you're here. The blood of Jesus has delivered you. But don't do it. So they take their blood, they do all the rubbish they do, and the guy travels abroad. Mbechi is going about. She doesn't need to go and check his Instagram. She doesn't need to do that. There is an oath binding him. If they are born and wear, may carry another girl for that America. Do you understand? She does it. That is it. Now listen. That's why you don't have to go back and be checking. This thing we are doing, does it work? It works. There is an oath binding. There is blood. That is what I'm trying to explain to you. So the boy, even though he's in America, he doesn't need to go and be checking. Is she with another guy? He knows. And, oh, let worse be worse that they carry that blood and they stood before a shrine. To do it. Ah, the Bible said about God. He said God looked around. He saw nobody greater and he swore by himself. And he told Abraham, in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying our You have entered a sworn blessing. You have been sworn to have power. There is no reason under heaven why the power of God will not work in your life. You cannot do power without covenant mentality. Because you need to understand that beyond generating power in prayer, power was generated 2,000 years ago. I don't know if somebody's hearing tonight. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. Jesus is called the mediator of the New Testament. I pray that even though it's 50 people here tonight, young ladies that will catch this thing, you will go and stand in that your family. I love the person that gave the testimony about the lady that came and told her mother that uh, you will not prosper, be waiting, waiting. You will go and start speaking to devils because devils have something that backs them up. There is something else. Then you, you should know there's something backing you up. It's altar for altar. It's God for God. And the Bible said in the book of Micah, there is no power but of God. No power but of God. You need to understand that this power we use is not how many hours we have prayed. Oh, we pray. We love to pray. Regiment 101 is honor. You should make sure you join. 9 a.m. we are praying. 12 noon we are praying. 3 p.m. we are praying. 6 p.m. we are praying. Every day. Every day. Make sure you have a habit of prayer. But after you have prayed and you come out, you know that what makes this prayer work is the cross. Do you understand? It goes beyond how that Emeka feels on that day. Emeka might really, really feel like this girl is really beautiful. I should touch her. It's not about his feeling. There is an odds. That means the day you wake up and you're not feeling powerful. It's not about how powerful you feel. There is an odds. You are a covenant child. For as long as that blood was shed, the only reason why power will not work in your hand, they have to unshed the blood of Jesus. And it is impossible. As impossible as it is for God to die, that's how impossible it is for you not to have power. Somebody shout, I have power with God. I don't think it's loud enough. Say it from the from the from the bowels of your soul. I have power with God. There is blood flowing. As long as that blood is flowing, we will say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Start speaking with audacity. Many times we come here and I say, pray. Da, 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 da. Pray with audacity. Unless you don't believe it. Why do you think you come here every Friday? If you don't have expectations, stay in your house. If you're coming here, you're sore. I'm coming to top up. It's called build up night. Top up for greater works. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Like a believer. Who knows she has power. Pray. Speak in tongues. Very well. I have power with God. I have power with men. Shadalada Balakatondes. Mankoroboshina Maladabaha. Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Amen. Now listen. And Jesus, to Jesus, the mediator, the person who arranged the new covenant, is not you. You're not a mediator. Jesus is the mediator. You are a beneficiary. You are a sleeping partner. There's something called sleeping partner. 
When God wanted to make Eve for Adam, he made Adam sleep. You are a sleeping partner. Sleep. Then you wake up and say, bone of my bones. So your job is to repeat what has been done. That this is mine. This belongs to me. What did you do to get it? I was in Christ. I am Bakata. Oh, now you know I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm Christ in me. On Tiffy table. Oh, there are most of you. The weapon will be first round though. The weapon will be short. You will hold it. You will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will hold the weapon. And ask the devil, you don't impress me. You don't impress me. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to what? The blood of sprinkling. The blood of sprinkling. That speaketh better things. That is how we entered. Every covenant has a token. The marriage covenant has a token. It's called the ring. So when you're looking at a guy that you're crushing on, you look at you have to you remove your eye. The token for us is the blood and the name. The blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. First Corinthians 11, 26. You tell the devil, you're not impressing me. This is all you've got. Surely he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised. You come against me with spears and arrows. I come in the name of the Lord. You come against me with depressive thoughts and anxiety. I come in the name. Some of you today, you understand what, he, what, what it means that Jesus said, I give you my name. For as often as you eat this bread, because every Friday you come here and you eat that, I don't think I'm going. You don't know. Let me explain to you. This is the talking of your covenant. Show us all the married men come out, show us your ring. Why are you not wearing your ring now? Are you trying to deceive us? That means that ring is a token, a proof that you are part of this covenant. For as often as you eat this bread and you drink this love, you do show the Lord's debts. How do we show the Lord's debts? Women of God, I see three people. The fire of God is coming upon them. There is a grace for wealth. It's like wealth apostolos. The Holy Ghost is locating the three of you right now. This thing is bringing out. It's like it's like a scent coming out of you, like vehemence coming out of you. You are bringing poverty, and you're eating it like bread, showing the world true riches. Spontaneous outburst. For as often as you eat this bread. Those three women, the Holy Ghost is upon them while I'm speaking. He will find them out. And drink this cup. You do show the Lord's death. Show, okay? Yes, because if you want to come and take something from a man that has died, they will say you've come for his will. They say, yes, show us his death certificate. Once you show the death certificate, I'm still seeing those three ladies right now. The Holy Ghost is upon them. Help them. Help, Help them. They've come out of the pits where there's no water. Just help them, then you sit down. You, please look at me. You do show the Lord's death. So you've come for the inheritance. And you see, I'm one of his children. I'm one of his children. The man has died. I'm one of his children and I've come for my inheritance. They say, how do we prove? How do we prove? They say, show us the man's death certificate. When you carry the broken body, and the shed blood you to show that he's broken for me his blood has been poured out for me it's youth for me I increase this is the audacity we have this is the power we have his covenant is it your blood it's not my blood who are you sleeping partner beneficiary they don't need it the two parties don't need it I need it he was broken for me he was kanima koji daba the power of the blood by the time you have done this you have done that you have tried this you have tried that have you used the blood of Jesus have you called on you know the people that just chant because they are afraid blood of Jesus no you don't call it in fear you call it in boldness this is the covenant blood of Jesus blood, blood of Jesus you are searching with something that you know works sit down let me talk Something is happening. Um, they are coming for you. Blood of Jesus. With fear. Blood of Jesus and fear. They can't be together. You can't call. You can't fear and blood of Jesus. They can't be in the same sentence. They can't be in the 
same events, the blood of the everlasting covenant, we do show the Lord's death. This, this showing, the Bible says he was seen of angels. This is the greatest terrorism, terror you can do to the kingdom of darkness, is to remind them that Jesus died. But they can't stand that. Because they remember that day that he matched captivity. He said, I've been disarmed principalities and powers. I will quote this scripture forever so you know that cancer has no arm against your body. He has disarmed. So when you touch your body, there's a lump. You say, I've been disarmed. He has disprived your power to hurt me. You must know. Listen, women of God, you must know this thing. What is your hope if you don't know this thing? What's your hope? They call you and tell you, we can't find your script. And equals here. He has deprived the spirit of failure, power to harm me. Having disarmed, script must be found. Can we go back to the point of faith-filled prayer? Prayer that you know will be answered. Not MCK, please, can you pray? My script, don't be afraid. If you are afraid, calling me. MCK, I know my script to be found. Please speak words. That's the better way to talk because you are sure. That wherever that script is, in Venus, in Jupiter, it must appear back to that place. From victory, not for victory. Because you are shown the lost death. You are sure. Another talking is the name. Mark chapter 16. And I love the name so much because the name is the symbol of authority. The name is the symbol of exousia. Let me explain something to you about the name of Jesus. Mark 16 verse 16. Let me explain something to you about the name of Jesus. And open your eyes and listen. I see somebody getting a job as I just came here. And I think the person is here. And you're going to be paid in thousands of dollars. And by the time you go up, you can't come down again. You have gone up, you can never come down. The name of Jesus. What did Jesus tell his disciples? This sign shall follow thee that believe in my name. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means when Jesus was on earth, he goes about saying, demons go, demons go. He goes about saying, this guy is blind. You are healed, he's healed. Now he's going. He said, go in my name. Now me send you. Listen, your mother calls you and says, Ada, go and meet mama and get. She tell her, say, your mama say. So when you go, it's as if your mother is going. When we come in the name of Jesus, it's not the way to start a prayer. We are saying, Jesus is the one saying, seek be healed. That's what it means. In the name of Jesus, it's not how we start a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. No. Using the name, saying, Jesus is the one saying this. That means crippled must walk in the name as if it is Jesus himself saying stand up from your wheelchair. That is what it means to use the name of Jesus. So we have used it so much we don't understand. Jesus, no. Use my name. That means Nami said, I'm not around. But when you go, when you go, use my ATM card. And the machine will not ask you who are you. It's the card. You have my pin. If you have this pin, or you accept my token, press it. Your phone will not ask you who is, who is, who is pressing the token. No. No, 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 no. Open the app. Open the app. My token is what? Zero, 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 zero. Put the zero, 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 zero. The machine will not ask you who is doing that. Zero, 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 zero is the name of Jesus. So, what do you now do with this name? Kani Makonda. It's not the way to start prayer. It's not the way to let us pray in Jesus' name. No. They tell you. There's somebody there that's running mad. You say, devil. Get out in the name. Instantly, that insane spirit sees the face of the Lord of Lords that marched them naked on the streets. You come as him. For if anyone is joined with the Lord, he is one spirit. One spirit. You have power that you don't know of. And one of the ways to get acquainted with power is to speak loudly in the spirit. See, praying the Holy Ghost is your greatest, one of your biggest arsenal. That lakato sika. At first you hear it and you're like, yeah, 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 it sounds good. Then you pray into it. Then he starts, you, the Bible said Abraham was fully persuaded. So you start getting persuaded, but you're not fully yet. Rababa, in my name, I There's somewhere in the middle of the prayer. shita. You find yourself picking your phone, calling that woman. Ma, you're getting pregnant this year. In the name of Jesus. That's why he said, these signs shall follow. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. 17. Quickly, 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 run. 
and these signs shall follow them that believe. Listen to it. It's an open check. Anybody? Them that believe. No apostle, no prophet, no pastor, no teacher, no evangelist, no mighty MCK. Them that believe. The girl that sells orange by the side that believes. The girl that sells, that does content creation on Instagram that believes. The student in year two that believes. Anybody that believes, carry my name. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Never again will you stand before a demon that talks back at you. You tell them to kneel before me. Bow! Kneel down! You're talking to your Lord. You're talking back at me that you are what? Bow. Cancers bow at your name. Afflictions bow when you appear. Because I come in the name. In the name. This is a language of power. That because of the covenant they've given me his name. I didn't do anything. I was not the one that died on the cross. So all of you who have sicknesses in your body, it's time to stand up, put your hand on your body, and say, in the name of Jesus, get out of my system. Talk to the disease. Stop bowing down. Talk to that devil. Satan, I know it's you. You came into, I know it's you. You are moving about in my body like a holy gun, parambulating. Now get out of my system. In the name of Jesus, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will do what? Cast out devils. In the end, they will do what? Speak with new tongues. That means this Holy Ghost that we speak is part of what was given to us in covenant. So you don't speak in tongues and look around. There's a feeling that comes. Hey, I have his name. Just like him. Just like him. Just like him. Just like him. They will speak with new tongues. Do we have people who speak with new tongues here? If you know you are bold, open your mouth loud. Ten seconds. Talk well. This person is not blabbing. You know the painful thing? This generation, we pray, oh, but we don't understand what we carry from prayer. After you pray, what did you do? What did you do with your prayer charge? Prayer strength? What did you do with it? Okay, I pray. Yes, yes, we have seen you. Ah. Okay, what else? These signs. Find trouble. Look for trouble. Look, the only way that for devil to leave you alone is that you are the one looking for him. Let them not come to me. I pray devil. You pray the devil does not come to you. Ah. You are praying he does not come to you. You are that afraid. The Bible said in I think chapter 11. He said in the end of the days, they will bring out Lucifer and say, is this the thing? Then you will want to cry like this. I say he's not impressive. He doesn't have an impressive CV. He has something against you, ignorance. They, do, they know not, neither would they understand. The whole foundations of the earth is out of course. Why? They don't know. John said we know and believe. That means we move from knowing and agreeing is true. Regardless of the fact, let me teach you, fact is not true. Fact is I don't have school fees. True is that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. You must believe the truth. Somebody said truth over fact. The fact is that look at it now, typhoid plus plus the truth. Ah, yeah, nama. For as he is, so am I. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Then you say, I prosper, I am in health, and my soul is prospering. So, no mental health issues here. We don't do that, it's not cute. Oh my god, let me, my, my therapist. Listen, I study psychology, but I can tell you, your deep-seated issues are not deeper than the depth of the blood. Your deep-seated issues cannot be deeper than where Emmanuel's hands can get to. Because the therapist might even have bigger issues than you. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power and grace. The name, the name of Jesus is higher than every other name. It is not an ordinary name. 
It's a day that's full of power and grace. Oh boy, yes, and he can dig it. He can dig it. No barrier. He can dig it. No barrier. He can dig it. I jump on city. He can dig it. He can dig it. No barrier. He can dig it. No barrier. He can't turn over. I see my boy, yes, and he can't dig it. He can't turn over. Oh, 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 oh. And the number three thing, Kalima do robo shinda ba. Number one is ignorance. Number one, is, number two is what lack of consciousness of your covenant, and the number three is a lack of your consciousness of identity. Identity. Your name is favor. You are passing. They are calling Chidima. Why are you turning? Why are you turning? Your name is success. The devil is shouting failure. You are agreeing. Is it your name? Everybody answer your name. Know who you are. Stand there. He said, haven't done all to stand. Stand. Psalm 82, 5 to 7. Very, very important scripture. Psalm 82, 5 to 7. How many of you, when you're coming here next Friday, you'll come with someone? Please do that. Don't come alone. Come with someone. Listen, see the danger of lack of identity. Read along with me. They know not. Loudly. They know not. Neither would they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Wait, 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 wait. You put don't read well. Read again. Once to go loudly. They know not. Verse 5. They know not. Continue. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth. Pause. Pause. That means don't know can make your whole life be out of course so you say business is failing career is failing relationship is failing i'm not growing in my spiritual life everything has one one source they know not neither would they understand and because of that all your foundations are out of course have you heard when they say the center cannot hold because things are falling apart and why are things falling apart they know not neither would they understand listen verse 6 what do they not know? Verse 6. I have said, read, ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Most High. But you know you don't know. They don't know. So see what will happen to them in verse 7. Because they don't know. But you will die like men and fall like one of the princes. Ignorance will never be to your advantage. It will never be to your advantage. A knowledge of who you are. A true picture of your identity is a language of power. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. There's no condemnation. You're trying to take your bath and the devil now reminds you of what you did three years ago. You just, you just say, if I, if, I, if I slap you, you get out of this bathroom. Who do you think you are? They know not. Because they don't know that Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says what? There is therefore now no condemnation to those who have done right. No. To those who dot their eyes and cross their teeth. No. To those who are what? In Christ Jesus. So where are you coming from to tell me that God is punishing me? No, God does not punish me. God does not punish me. God is not angry with you. You have to be aware of that. You are sick. The devil tells you, maybe that's how God wants. You know, some people, some people fulfill their destiny at 80. Some fulfill their destiny at 30. You say, shut up. Todd Johnson says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. God does not wish sickness for me. I know the plans I think towards you, said the Lord. The plans of good and not of evil. So God is not giving you breakup upon breakup. The Lord make that thing happen so that so that what? How many women in the Bible did God give a breaking relation, broken relationship for them to know Him better? What are you telling me now, new creation people? What are you telling me? Just agree that the relationship broke. Don't tell me it's the Lord that broke it. Agree that you did not hear. You went to enter the one they did not send you. Agree that they told you, showed you road, you will enter bush. Don't say God, 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 God what? I wish above all. The plan of God for your life is that you will always be right. God is not teaching you with experience. He is teaching you with the Holy Ghost. How be it when the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into our truth. 
experience is not your teacher. Call for our best teacher. The Holy Spirit is the best teacher. Because he has experienced everything. The Spirit of God hovered over the waters. So hear from him and stop making stupid mistakes and opening your YouTube channel to tell us about how mistakes and how God lead. Who are you? What are you talking about? Why are you proud of that? Yes, you can encourage us with your journey, but don't tell us the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, according to the Lord, your steps are ordered. According to the Lord, your path is at a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. Your light is bared and you followed him. You are the one that followed the wrong guy. And the Holy Ghost was trying to help you out. So you came out and you're feeling bad. Now you say it's Holy Ghost, but he was the one that helped you through the breakup. It's not Holy Ghost. I'm led. I am led. I am led. You're not saying it's way. I am led. No wrong turns. No mistakes. No wrong relationships. No wrong business. No wrong ideas. No wrong careers. No wrong human beings. I am led, right place, right time, right people, right opportunities, all the time. It is possible to get it right the first time. It's possible to get it right all the time. The Holy Ghost does not miss road. Follow who no road. What is your identity in Christ? That's your identity. If it does not look like Christ, it's not yours. Have a consciousness, work like that. Oh, that's why you see the world will persecute you when you start working your identity. Like they're persecuting these great men of God now. Who do, why will they pass our private jet? Why not? Were you called to die? Carry the wave. You see, when God increases your, your life, he increases your capacity for contention. So while you're asking God to make you the manager, I hope you know they will hate you. So why God is increasing you? He's increasing your capacities for contention. So social media will carry your name and it will be like water on top rock. Why? Because you are fortified with the consciousness of who you are in Christ. I am a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. He said he has called us to be kings and priests. Romans 5.17 says, Those that have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign. You were born to reign. Everywhere you go, head, not the tail. Leader. Always, all the time. Money comes to you today. You're like, oh my God, this is why they send me this kind of big money. Who knows when next? It's tomorrow, another one is coming. Man that falls every day. You're not a one time wonder. You are blessed daily. He said, he daily loads, not daily dash, not daily filters, not daily scanty. He daily loads. So if somebody gives you 100K tomorrow, best believe tomorrow is 1.5. He daily loads us with benefits. What did we do? Nothing. It's the gift of God. Young women, I hope you have been you are taught. I hope you are being instructed. Psalm 49 verse 20 says, A man that is in authority and does not know is like a beast that perisheth. I'm in authority and I know. Oh, Kabaraba Shanda Ladabaha. When I walk into a city, I say I come in the name of the Lord. The way the city will respond to Jesus, he responds to CC Kings. When you walk into that business, come in the name of the Lord. Goliath came against David. David said, you come with spears, I see you. You come with arrows, I see you. But I come to you in a name. And that name is the power. Three things. Number one, ignorance. Number two, consciousness of covenant. Number three, consciousness of identity. These things can help you into power. But let me close you in the next two minutes. And I must enter the expressions of power which are now the colors of dynamis is finally now that we have entered the colors of dynamis and I want to end with this number one I wrote seven but let me do one so the fire of God can come upon you and we go we're praying the Holy Ghost everywhere oh pray lovely in the spirit love on the Holy Ghost you have filled me with power I see people who will raise dead bodies here at the same time employ people Shelana Malakapa Mamborokoto Sida Balagadia Shed the letter Belacatella de Belacaton de Ledaba Call it Call it in the name of Jesus Sell it at the letter de Leda Belacaton de Ledaba Masoto Leda Belagadia de Belagadia de Dedosha Shed the letter de Leda de Leda de Leda de Leda de Dedosha Shed the letter, 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 the
But you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. When the unction of God comes upon you, He takes over your physical faculties. You used to have low self esteem, He swallows it. You used to have issues with yourself, He consumes it. It's like God is, it's like, it's like putting your hand in a hand glove. That all of a sudden we can't see your hand, it's a glove we're seeing. That's how it is. You are putting on God. That what we see now is God. This girl that used to be so fearful, all of a sudden something has come upon her. That we no longer look at people's faces when we speak. There's unction to function in media. That all of a sudden you are downloading prints. This thing is the Holy Ghost. This thing can, you cannot manage it. You cannot control it. The Holy Spirit, you have an unction. I have an unction from the Holy One. Hey, that is how we get through. Consciousness, I'm anointed. When you say we're anointed, it does not mean you are a pastor. It means I have been fashioned, equipped for this. Equipped for this. I have an unction. One of the colors, one of the expressions of power is that God calls a man and says, Take. It was the unction of the Holy Ghost that made Mary virgin. That's called unction. When she asked Gabriel, Gabriel, how shall these things be? I don't know a man. This has been your question all the while. He said, the unction of the Holy Ghost, the power of the highest will overshadow. You know what overshadow is? It takes over. Mary sits down one place, Holy Ghost take over. He said, the child you will give birth to will be called child of the Holy Ghost. That means that business you want to do, you are anointed for a business. That's what we are talking about. There is an unction to do business well. You are not trying to build from scratch. It will not work. You need an unction. Speak in tongues. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. I am Jesus needed it. He said, ha ha. The Spirit of God is upon me, for He has anointed me. That means He has given me unction. So every time I see Jesus going about, everywhere He went, He was doing good. He was under the unction. And that same unction is tonight. There are people here that will be scaring their generation. Because this is not something a man can do. When they saw Jesus walking on the water, they said, He's a spirit. He's a spirit. And they're talking about you. She's a spirit. She's not the one. She's not the one. They are right because the Holy Ghost has gained ascendancy on shun to function. On shun to function. You see, men of God, they travel today. They're in Katuna. In the morning, they're in Ethiopia. They are preaching in the UK. Sunday, they are packed to church. And you ask, how does this man do it? The Holy Ghost has come upon him. But it's one thing to have. It's another thing to build up yourself on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Kalabayakata. Because somewhere along the line, as you are doing your work, the devil will come to tempt you. You faint. You fail. It starts looking like, am I really called? You don't have time for useless questions. Enter your secret place. A quarter letter by her. How God anointed Sisi with the Holy Ghost and power. Some of you will be walking like gods among us. Gods among us. There are gods among us. There are those who don't die. He said you will take up deadly things. It will not hurt you. Unction. Who is it that can harm you? If you are a follower of that which is good, I'm speaking about those who would tame territories. Territories. You enter a territory. They say in this territory, churches don't grow. In this territory, businesses don't grow. In this territory, creatives die. And you say, we are your medicine. We are the antidotes. We are your medicine. We are your blood tonic. Elana Makorabaha. No wonder I said, pray without ceasing. That's what you are doing. Rane mukunde lete pele koteni yana mahashida baha. Zene mekoponi yene mekotonde. Ekuni yana masia. Shetalia katosa. Ella kotalia. Parana. David said. Psalm 
18, 29. For by thee have I run through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. It's called unction. That you say, I used two weeks to cover my curriculum. You don't understand that the Holy Ghost will come upon your mind. A mantle. Hey, Shetakato. Sia lana manto lekata. Sheprato kotosia. Equare na mano mano matos. You start talking like a god. I can do all this to Christ. Energize in my body. Energize in my mind. Energize in my spirit. I a kapa. You walk around in your room. You start saying, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. There's an angel here. There's an angel there. There's an angel here. There's an angel here. I'm not alone. They follow me everywhere. They whisper to me. They arrange things for me. They orchestrate things for me. Give me judges. Let me show you so we can pray and go. Oh. We compress time because these meetings sometimes I don't say everything and it's painful. Give me Judges chapter 14. Judges, Judges chapter 14. Let me show you what unction did to a man. After we read this scripture, pray like a mad woman. Take the communion and go. Next Friday is impartation. Tell everybody you know. Judges. Next Friday is called the expressions of dunamis. Judges chapter 14 verse 5 Let me show you what unction did to a man in the Old Testament and what unction will do to you here. He said then went Samson down and his father and his mother, read with me to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath and behold a young lion roared against him because you did much who are you to enter this territory there are demons already here but look at what unction does. Then, and the spirit of the Lord unction. Something was not strong. His anointing. It's called the spirit of might. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him. That's the lion. He rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand. Nothing in his hand. Moses, oh Moses had something. Something had nothing. I told you that you are the Kayamata. You are the jazz. You are the end of the course. A young lion came and he said he rent him and he had nothing in his hand. No, it's not because Samson's hand is strong like iron. No, they told you why. The spirit of the Lord came mightily upon C.C. Kings. The spirit of the Lord came mightily upon this woman that is looking at me now. And you carry that gold. And look at that dream that looks like something like how can somebody like you say you don't understand the Holy Ghost has come upon me are you seeing the, the, the similarity between Mary and Samson your different calling there is an unction for Mary's calling was to carry the Savior of the world Holy Ghost came upon her Samson was a spirit of might to kill that lion the spirit of God came mightily and he did not even tell his father and mother about it like it is nothing like it is nothing I see people here Changing the course of Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt needs a change. This city, this city likes to swallow up. Have you not noticed that the city does not like people rising up early to be good? They want you to be 50. They want you to be 65. Once you're in your early 30s, they're good. You are cut him short. Let trailer hit him. Let him enter under a car. Young people, especially those born in the state. I'm not trying to be superstitious, so. But well, you don't need to be a prophet to see that if you're born in this state, there's something about not letting you be rising when you're young. Rise when you're young. We hear story. Story that, that touches. So you're coming up, they cut your head. Who are you, O mountain? Before Zerubbabel, we make you a plane. We sit you down like a child and tell you to weather your pampas and sit down one place because an army has risen. I'm done. Lift up your voice. There is an unction upon me. An anointing to function in my office. That I will run and I will not be weary. That the more I run, the stronger I become. 
you one minute to pray like a mad woman and say the Holy Ghost has come upon me like Mary like Samson I am running through troops I have the unction for this time you have only one minute. You are not even praying. E kala na malaga to de le de ba e ro no bo do bo shi a de blessed are you o lord our god eternity's only king iba o iba 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 the power of God is coming up. Come on. You don't even know who you are. Mount Moriah says something. He said, if God opens your eyes to see you, you'll be afraid of you. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everybody. He shall come back and tell them. He that is joined with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. Once you have come into Christ, you have put on Christ. Once you have come into Christ, you have put on Christ. You have put on Christ. about big people. The Gentiles will come to that light and kings will come to that presence.